Hello and welcome. In this video, I'll show you how to transfer photos and videos from your iPhone to your Windows 10 laptop or computer. This is a great way of keeping a local copy of your photos and you can also create more space on your iPhone. You don't need iTunes to do this. In fact, all you need is the lightning cable you can see connected to the phone and the other end, the USB connection connected to your computer. Once connected, if you look at the phone first, you'll see a message and it says, allow this device to access photos and videos. We'll say allow. On the laptop now, we have a window up here. It says Apple iPhone and it says internal storage. If this doesn't appear for you, what you can do is go to the yellow folder down at the bottom. This is the file explorer. On the left-hand side, go to this PC, then select Apple iPhone. Then double click internal storage and then DCIM. Now you may have some different folders on your phone. Um, this is 100 Apple and 100 Apple is the local folder which has the local photographs in. If you have 100 cloud, that's for the cloud photographs. You may see 100 Apple, 101 Apple, 102 Apple, etc. 100 Apple is the oldest, 101 newer, 102 newer still. So I'm going to go into 100 Apple and here I can see the photos which are locally stored on my phone. Um, what I can do is copy these straight onto the desktop, but what I'm gonna do is just create a folder just to keep things neat and tidy. So I'm just at the desktop, I'll do a right click, new folder. Great. Now, what I like to do is copy. Rather than move, I copy items across. This just make sure in case there's any kind of crash or corruption or anything like that you won't ruin your original file so we're going to just copy these across and to do so just highlight any photo or video uh, press down with the left key and just drag it across and you can see it says copy to new folder and it takes a copy let's select this one do the same thing press and hold down the left mouse key we drag across and release now we can take a look in this folder and you can see that they've been copied over. We'll do another. Let's take this photo, press and hold, drag across. Now if you want to choose more than one, you can select one, press down the control key and hold it, select another photo and select another one still. Then let go of the control key and drag these across. It's just saying that these have already been copied over. That's fine in this example. Then once you're happy that you've copied the photos across, you have a backup, you'll want to delete these. Just right click and go to delete. Are you sure that you want to permanently delete these three items? You say yes. And these are now removed from your iPhone and you will have more storage to take more photos. So hopefully this has helped you out and you're more comfortable copying photos and videos from your iPhone onto your Windows 10 computer. If this has helped, please give the video a thumbs up, it really helps me out a lot, and just lets me know it's helping you guys out. Thank you very much for choosing my video, and please stay safe.